What's going on guys, this is Richard back with another video and today we're going to be reviewing the latest colorway in the Yeezy 380 line, which is the Yeezy 380 Peppers. How was that? So this particular pair is the reflective pair, but these also did release with the non-reflective pairs, but these are a little bit more expensive at 250. And unlike those pairs, these were very limited. These didn't release in a lot of different websites. I actually was able to secure my pair through Yeezy Supply, but unfortunately, these are not my size. When I finally got through, my size was completely sold out, 11 and a half, 11 gone. So these are a size nine, but I still wanted to get them because I wanted to review them and show you what they're all about. So we're going to talk about the details of this shoe and what I really like about it. And then we're going to talk about one con, which honestly is the biggest con that I have about this particular model and all of the upcoming future releases of Yeezys. Let's get into it. So the first thing that makes me a fan of this specific model is the colorway. You have shades of pink on both sides with hints of blue mixed in and orange where the stripe would be. The sole of the shoe is also a darker shade, which at first I didn't know how I would feel about it but in hand, it's a great contrast to the upper of the shoe. In my opinion, this is the best colorway that we've seen so far. Since this is the reflective pair, the hints of blue reflect when you hit them with the flash or under certain lighting. It's something you won't see often, but when you do, it makes the shoe that much better and definitely will turn some heads. I'm a fan of the reflective concept and I like how they've done different variations of the look based on the model. You also have the tan laces with the new bungee lace lock system that we've seen in past Yeezys which gives the shoe a cleaner look, but you also have an extra set of red laces included in the box if you're more of a fan of the classic lace. And speaking of the laces, that brings me to my biggest con of this shoe. So as you see here, it has the lace locking system, the new system that they're gonna incorporate in all the upcoming Yeezys. Now, as you see here, it's connected by this bungee here. And if you wanna switch this out for the red laces, you actually have to cut this off. You can't just separate it, it has to be removed. Now, once you cut this off to put the red laces in, you can't put these back on, so this is done. Which brings a problem because if you're someone that really likes this lacing system, you're stuck because you either stick with this or if you wanna go with the red laces, you lose this. So the reason why this is a big con to me is because I really like this lacing system, but at the same time, I like the red laces. I don't wanna to have to cut this off to be able to have these red laces. And what would solve that issue is that if they included an extra set of these tan laces as regular laces, because at least if you cut it, you can get that look back. But if not, you're stuck with the red or the bungee. I wish that you were able to disconnect it because then at that point you can just go back and forth. But because you have to make a choice, it really limits you on what you can do with the shoe. And my fear is that in the future, we're gonna continue to have Yeezys with different color laces and we have to make the choice on which one we prefer. One solution I think that would solve this problem is just include a third set of laces that are the same color as these bungee laces. So that way if you cut it, Again, you can at least go back and forth, but if you're getting this shoe, just know that if you want the red laces to be on your shoe, you have to cut this, and once you cut it, that's it. Now, I think the biggest question is, should you buy the reflective pair or should you buy the non-reflective pair? In my opinion, unless you have a lot of money to spend, I would say just go with the non-reflective pair because you can't really see the reflective material unless you're in certain lighting or unless the flash is on on the camera. So other than that, the shoes look exactly the same. So because right now the peppers are going for basically retail if you're buying it resale, you might as well just go with the regular version. You still get the red laces, you still get the look. All you're missing out is on that reflective prime knit that again, you don't really see. I would just go with that and you'll be fine. But overall, I really love this colorway. In my opinion, this is the best colorway of all of the 380s. I know some people really love the Aliens, which were the OG colorway, but I think this one just has a lot more going on. You do get those red laces included, even though again, if you wanna put them on, you gotta cut this off. You still get them, so you can switch it up. And I think this is gonna be one of the most slept on pairs of 380s. 
And because they're going for retail, pretty much, if you're looking to get it, this is the perfect time to buy it. You're gonna get it for a good price. And most importantly, it, it will stand out. And once you get them in hand, you will not be disappointed. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments, did you happen to get a pair? Did you pass? If you're going for resale, are you gonna go with the reflective pair or the non-reflective? And subscribe to the channel, that way you'll be updated on when our next video drops. So this is Rich, thank you guys once again, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.